Hey guys. <laughs> so I hit stop recording on the last one before I finished talking, but it's all good. We just going with it. Um, it's still the same day. This is chapter 10, lecture four. It's the last lecture. It's not going to be a long one, but we have a couple things to talk about. And um, I guess that's kind of, we have a couple things left to talk about. Let's uh, get this part started, my friends. So what we have next is usually a question. It's usually a question of when it's Thanksgiving, because this is typically not a lecture that's in uh, October, but November, is, um, you know, who likes dark meat and who likes light meat, right? When it's Thanksgiving and there's a turkey. So we know that we have different types of meat. We have dark meat. And dark meat is typically the thigh, right? And we have white meat. Oh, I like the white meat. I'll be kidding. I won't kid you. Oh, you know, I like the dark meat too. It's pretty tasty. And white meat, we typically see in like the breast, the turkey breast, right? I'm not going to say it's a human breast because <laughs> that's not muscle <laughs> on me anyway. All right. So we know that we have different colored. Oops different oh brother kind of colored muscles and what i want to say is really um muscles are made out of three different types of fibers and 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 it's a mix in all the muscles all muscles are a mix but obviously are uh oh, crying out loud, are a mix of three types of muscle cells. And they have very different properties. So we know all right, well in the turkey breast it's mostly white meat, so there's probably a lot more of one kind than another. It's not an equal mix, but there's usually all three types present. But let's just make sure, yeah, they're not all an equal mix of all three. Because we use our muscles very differently. Um, so here I have like dark meat, a dark colored one. This is a slow oxidative fiber. My lighter colored one is a fast glycolytic fiber. And then I've got the guy in the middle, a fast oxidative glycolytic fiber. But if you just focus on these two, then you know that this guy's in the middle. All right. Um, and it's just kind of understanding like the bulk of a muscle. Why, why do I have these three different types? Well, because it depends on how these muscles are gonna be used. But I have an unequal mix because muscles are used very differently. And the color is really due to the amount of myoglobin. Now remember, myoglobin is an oxygen warehouse. That's what I'm going to call it. So O2, hopefully you guys know what that means, oxygen. So myoglobin's an oxygen warehouse. So white muscles don't have a lot of oxygen warehouse. Red, darker muscles have a lot of oxygen warehouses, all right? So with the slow oxidative, um, they're oxidative they're going to have a lot of myoglobin. They're the slowest to contract, right? They're slow to contract. They are for posture, for endurance, fatigue resistant. I don't know about that one, but they rely on aerobic respiration because one, they have the word oxidative in there. Two, they have a lot of myoglobin. If I'm fast glycolytic, I am super fast. Fast, strong contraction, fatigue rapidly, but they're used for bursts of movement. And I am not relying on anything having to do with oxygen. So I am doing glycolysis. And remember, glycolysis is anaerobic respiration. Um, no oxygen. So because I'm not relying on oxygen, I have no real myoglobin. And I, uh, 
poop out pretty quickly, right? I only lasted a couple of minutes. Okay, so let's check this out and really, so this is kind of talking about slow oxidative, what's going on with them versus fast glycolytic. And then we have the guy in the middle. So this is the middle man. Oh, brother, you guys cut it out. Just trying to write the word middleman. So I'm just going to focus on this. So myoglobin content, slow oxidative has a large amount. Fast glycolytic doesn't because myoglobin was my oxygen warehouse. Mitochondria, these guys are using oxygen. I have a lot in my slow oxidative and I have a few in my fast glycolytic. Capillaries. Well, I need capillaries to be bringing in the oxygen and the, gl the new glucose, so I'm going to have many capillaries in my slow oxidative and a few in my fast glycolytic, and hence I'm going to be red in color. This is my dark meat versus, oh, you guys, I'm, I'm pretty done. Um, white, pale, and my white meat. Of my turkey. Okay, what else do we have? Capacity for generating ATP. High capacity by aerobic respiration versus low by anaerobic glycolysis in my fast glycolytic. Um, but I'm very slow versus being very fast. Resistance to fatigue. I'm going to jump around a little bit. Resistance to fatigue, so slow oxidative fibers are very resistant to fatigue. They're going to last long, hence they're for endurance activities, versus these guys will fatigue quickly. So they're for very quick, uh, rapid, intense movements of short duration, like, um, like uh, hitting a baseball. I need a lot of force. It's going to be very quick, that sort of thing, um, to, uh, to get me there. Um, so creatine kinase and glycogen stores are very low in these guys because they have the blood supply to be continuously bringing them glucose and oxygen versus in my fast glycolytic, I have a lot of creatine Kindness, I have a lot of glycogen because I use it inefficiently. I'm only getting two um, ATP. Order of recruitment, as I need greater force, I'll recruit those guys last. Where do I find these fibers? Postural. So these are muscles that are for endurance or for maintaining posture is where I will find my slow oxidative, like in the legs. Fast glycolytic, like those muscles associated with your eyes for moving your eyes quickly one way or another. Um, and then you got the guys in the middle walking and sprinting, right? Like basketball is gonna have a lot of fast oxidative glycolytic fibers. All right, so a marathoner is going to do slow oxidative. A shot putter will probably have fast glycolytic. Um, boy, soccer, I would say slow oxidative because they rely on endurance to run that field for the whole time, right? Strength training. Strength training, slow or fast glycolytic because you have these short bursts of lifting weights. So strength training is going to build muscle. Build um, muscle size, right? Become hypertrophic versus aerobic endurance exercise. Aerobic exercise is going to lead to increased muscle capillaries, increased muscle mitochondria, increased myoglobin for storing oxygen. Results in greater endurance, strength, resistance to fatigue. Now, what's interesting is it could convert my fast glycolytic to the fast oxidative glycolytic fibers.
Resistance exercise, which is my strength training, is typically anaerobic, and I will get muscles changing in size as they add more myofilaments to the muscle. Fiber size, so the cells get bigger. Because we lay down more, more myofilaments, the little guys. Okay. Oh, increased mitochondria. No, I don't think that's right. Increased myofilaments, increased glycogen stores and connective tissue. Well, I don't know about the mitochondria. That's in the other one. That was kind of funny. All right. So you want to have a balanced exercise. When you force muscles to do work, it will increase the strength and endurance. They're going to adapt to increase demands. They have to be overloaded to make gains. <laughs> As I do my yoga, I try to do the other poses that are a little crazier. I um, try to do my stretches deeper. And you want to alternate between the two for as a best program, but rest in between as well. Um, if you stop using them as a result of broken bones, you'll lose muscle strength at about 5% a day. If there's an injury with your nervous system, they will go to one quarter of their size and the muscle tissue will become like scar tissue fibrous connective tissue that's unusable and you won't be able to get that back. So that is chapter 10 with some weird and wacky concepts, but we did it. Told you this was a short one, 12 minutes, I'll take it. Um, I like talking about the dark meat versus the light meat. Why does it taste so different? Because some has good blood supply and others don't. So, I don't know. just kind of makes sense. And it starts to help you understand what's going on with your body. So, that one's cool. Or at least it is to me. So, hey, you guys take care. And I will see you with the next chapter. Bye for now.